all right good day students uh, I keep quickly on to look at this question and maybe some other questions uh, the question says that uh, an air compressor used for spraying paint has a tank of what the tank of capacity is 0 0.40 meter cube that is volume that is all the capacity that contains air at 27 degrees Celsius now and 6.08 tm how many moles of air does the tank hold? Now, the molar gas constant, the first molar gas constant is 8.31 joules per Kelvin. Though it's supposed, it's supposed to be joules per mole Kelvin. It's to be joules per mole Kelvin. Yeah, and uh, 1 atm is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So, look at the options. We have the options there. Uh, let's look at the solution to this question now to see what we are going to actually have. All right, now, one thing about a physics question is for you to know where actually the, que the uh, question is coming from, the topic, the question is coming from. Now, uh, what some people do, they will list out the uh, uh, things or items I was given the question or the ingredients you need to solve the issue. Uh, for example, now uh, we're having volume to be equal to 0 0.40 meter cube, and we have, we're having pressure to be equal to 6.08 atm. 6.08 atm. Then uh, we also have a molar gas constant to be 8.31. But also 314, but we're given 31, so we are just going to use this joules per mole Kelvin. Then we have a temperature to be 27 degrees Celsius. Then we are asked to look for the numbers of moles. We have to look for the numbers of moles. Now, how are we not going to get these uh, numbers of moles? Remember PV, I, I don't know if you can still remember this formula, PV is equals to NROT. NROT. I don't know if you can remember this formula. So, with this now, we can get the number of moles. You can see, you can get the number of moles here. Number of moles, not to be sure of the formula now, you divide both by ROT, divide side by ROT. So that the number of moles will be equal to PV over ROT. So we know V, we know P, we know R, we know T. But another important thing here is that because of this molar gas constant, this ATM will not work. We are using this value. Because joules is not in ATM. Joules is in Pascal. So this pressure should be in Pascal. We are going to move this on to Pascal. We are going to have Kevin here. So it's going to go to degrees, uh, that, that degree section is going to go to Kelvin. So that, those are the two conversions we are going to do now. We are going to convert 6.0 ATM to Pascal. And we are going to convert uh, 27 degree Celsius to Kelvin. So let's go. So the pressure now will be equal to 6.0 ATM. You see it as 6.0 times 1.013 times 10 to the power 5. Is how to convert from uh, ATM to Pascal. So use the value to multiply 1.013 times 10 to the power 5. Because 1 ATM, 1 ATM is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. So this is the conversion uh, rate. That's the conversion rate. So you just use the value in ATM to multiply 1.013. This is power 5 Pascal. Now move it to Pascal. We want to convert back to ATM, divide by this same value. We want to convert to Pascal, multiply by this value from ATM. We want to convert back to ATM, you divide by this same value. That's how it is done. So take note of that, it's very, very important. What about the temperature that is in degree Celsius? You just add 273 to it. We want to convert from degree Celsius to Kelvin, you add 273 to the value. 
So if you add this one, we are going to have something very nice. We'll have zero. So we'll have 300. We'll have 300 carry. That's what we are going to have. So if you substitute this to the formula, which is N, is equals to PV over ROT. That was P is, P is actually uh, 6.0 by 6 times 1.013. Times x power five times uh what is this other one that yet the volume the value is over 0 0.4 then divided by r which is 8.31 r was 8.31 times 300 which is the temperature so if we do that now we're going to have answer we'll check the answer we're going to have because that is very 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 important so let's look at uh, the answer to this. Let's look at the answer. Uh, you are going to have 97.5 moles. You will have 97.5 moles. So this is the answer to this particular question 97.5 moles of this gas. So uh, thank you. Thank you.